All right, y'all, I have these plants that I've stored up indoors. It's a fall and it's too cold out for some of them and I don't want to wait till it's too late to start bringing them in. We have already passed our first frost. Even though they can take a light frost, I decided to bring them in. But as you can see, I have abandoned them a little bit because I still have so much going on outdoors. And look at that, y'all. They're in here. And my setup here is geared towards keeping them alive with airflow. Obviously, it's a grow tent with my setup, which is my grow lights, my fan going and all of that. But these peppers are ripening in here. I have to harvest them once they're ripened. I need to water them in quite a bit because I haven't done so for the past week and a half. And they're in dire need of water. Look at this persimmon, guys. The leaves are changing. They're beautiful. It's not a cold hardy one, so I have it indoors. I have ginger going that I'm going to plant in ground next year. I'm also going to transplant those turmeric. These citruses are from seeds, so I have them here in the grow tent. My stevia is finally starting to go to seeds, so I have two stevia plants here that I'm going to be collecting seeds from. I just got to remember to come in here and water them. But my greenhouse set up in my garage and also my outdoor garden is still keeping me busy because I'm still harvesting, but as you can see, I have some room in here still that I can put some additional plants in here, but I'm going to go ahead and harvest these peppers so the ones that are on there can have a fair chance to ripen. But I am excited about gardening for next year and every year I actually overwinter peppers and it gives me a good start for the upcoming season since these plants are already established and I don't have to transplant these they're going to continue to grow in these containers that they're in but what I did this year also was to germinate some new pepper varieties that I wanted to grow and overwinter them in here now this is my grape plant that I received from another content creator it's a muscadine variety and the leaves have dried up and fallen off but if, as you can see while I'm doing a scratch this here it's still nice and green so that's supposed to happen the leaves are supposed to fall off I'm gonna keep watering it in not too much just to keep it alive because in this area here I've created the conditions to do so and to keep them alive and thriving waiting for the next season to get outdoors and start planting and growing food again but I'm excited about my pepper seedlings germination rate was great and I can't wait to plant them directly in ground. Some I'm going to keep in containers, in the bigger containers. But the ones that are in the smaller planters, they're going in the ground. 